In today's video, we're diving into an essential topic, 12 grocery products you should stockpile before November. With ongoing food supply chain disruptions, unpredictable weather, and rising costs, stocking up on key items now is a smart move. We'll walk through 12 specific products and explain the unique reasons why they could become harder to find or more expensive. Number one, vegetable oils. The global vegetable oil market is currently facing significant challenges, and prices are on the rise due to a variety of factors. One of the primary drivers is the ongoing demand for vegetable oils in both the food industry and the growing biofuel sector. Countries such as Indonesia are increasingly using palm oil for biodiesel production, which is competing with food-related uses and straining overall supply. This shift is pushing up prices, as palm oil remains a critical component in both industries. In addition to biofuel demand, there have been disruptions in production. For example, major palm oil producers like Indonesia and Malaysia have faced lower than expected yields, and this stagnation in production is making it harder to meet the surging global demand. Sunflower and soybean oil prices have also risen driven by lower processing volumes in some countries and geopolitical instability affecting supply chains. The FAO's Vegetable Oil Price Index has surged to its highest point since early 2023, reflecting these pressures. This market volatility is expected to continue, with supply deficits predicted for the foreseeable future. Stockpiling vegetable oils now could help mitigate the impact of rising prices and potential shortages in the coming months, especially for products like palm, soybean, and sunflower oils, which are seeing the highest levels of demand pressure. Number two, canned tuna and fish. Canned tuna, salmon, and other types of canned fish are essential pantry staples, particularly in times of food supply uncertainty. There are several reasons why stocking up on these products is a wise decision. First, overfishing has led to declining fish populations worldwide, prompting governments and regulatory bodies to impose stricter fishing limits. These regulations, while necessary for preserving marine ecosystems, have reduced the overall availability of fish that can be caught and processed for consumption. For instance, Species like tuna are heavily impacted by these limitations, which can lead to intermittent shortages. Additionally, the cost of producing canned fish has increased due to rising prices of raw materials, particularly aluminum. Aluminum is widely used in the production of cans, and the cost of this metal has been on the rise, influenced by global supply chain disruptions, increased energy costs, and demand from various industries. This has made the production of canned goods more expensive, contributing to the higher retail prices consumers are seeing. Canned fish is not just affordable and accessible, but also provides a long-lasting and versatile source of protein. It is shelf-stable, meaning it can be stored for years without refrigeration, making it an ideal item to stockpile for emergencies or long-term food security planning. Moreover, canned fish offers numerous health benefits, being rich in omega-3 fatty acids, essential vitamins, and minerals. Given the uncertainties in both fish supply and rising production costs, stocking up on canned tuna and fish is a strategic move. Whether you use it in salads, sandwiches, or pasta dishes, having canned fish on hand ensures that you have a reliable source of protein during times of food shortages or rising grocery prices. Number three, beef. Beef prices have surged to record highs and there are multiple reasons why stocking up on beef now is a smart decision. One major factor is the significant reduction in cattle herds due to prolonged droughts in key producing regions like the West and Great Plains. The drought has devastated pasture lands, forcing ranchers to send more cattle to slaughter rather than keeping them for breeding. As a result, the U.S. cattle herd has shrunk to its smallest size in over 60 years, which has led to a reduction in beef supply and, consequently, higher prices. The cost of feed is another contributing factor. Feed prices spiked during the drought years, particularly for corn and soy, which are essential for raising cattle. This added expense forced many ranchers to downsize their herds. Although feed prices have recently started to ease, it takes considerable time for cattle herds to rebuild. 
It typically takes 18 to 24 months for a calf to reach slaughter weight, meaning beef supplies will likely remain tight for the foreseeable future. Global market dynamics have also played a role in driving up prices. U.S. beef exports have been strong, meaning less beef is available domestically, further tightening supply. Additionally, labor shortages, rising transportation costs, and high demand for beef have all contributed to elevated prices at grocery stores. Despite these challenges, consumer demand for beef remains robust, with many opting for more affordable cuts rather than reducing consumption altogether. Given these ongoing factors, stockpiling beef now can help protect against future price increases and potential shortages, especially for higher quality cuts that may become more expensive or harder to find in the coming months. Number four, rice. Rice is an essential staple in many households, and recent developments in the global market indicate that prices and availability may be at risk. One of the primary reasons for this is the recent export restrictions by major rice-producing countries. For example, India, the world's largest exporter of rice, has imposed bans on certain rice exports to control domestic inflation and protect local food supplies. These restrictions have significantly impacted global markets, leading to a sharp increase in prices as many countries rely on Indian rice exports. Additionally, rising production costs are contributing to the problem. Farmers are facing higher expenses for fertilizers, transportation, and energy, which all directly affect the price of rice. Inflationary pressures have increased the cost of producing and shipping rice, further pushing prices upward. As these higher costs get passed down the supply chain, consumers are already seeing rice prices at record levels in many regions. Another major factor is the ongoing effects of climate change on agricultural production. Key rice-producing areas, especially in Southeast Asia, are experiencing weather anomalies that have reduced harvest yields. The El Nino phenomenon in particular is causing droughts and unpredictable weather patterns, resulting in lower-than-expected rice production. These combined factors, export restrictions, rising production costs, and climate-related disruptions are creating a perfect storm for rice prices to remain elevated. For consumers, this means that rice could become increasingly expensive or harder to find in the near future. Stocking up on rice now can help mitigate these risks, ensuring a stable supply of this crucial staple in your pantry during times of economic or agricultural uncertainty. Number five, wheat and flour. Wheat and flour are essential staples in many households and the current market conditions suggest that prices will continue to rise, making it a good idea to stock up now. One of the main reasons is severe droughts that have affected key wheat growing regions, particularly in the U.S. Plains. The drought has drastically reduced wheat yields, especially for hard red winter and spring wheat varieties, which are critical for flour production. This reduced output has tightened global supplies, leading to increased prices. In addition to drought, global conflicts have impacted wheat exports. The ongoing disruptions in exports from major producers, such as Ukraine, have created imbalances in the global wheat market. While some supply routes have reopened, the limited exports continue to pressure prices upward as demand remains high. Furthermore, Inflation and rising input costs for farmers, including higher prices for fertilizers and energy, are increasing the cost of wheat production. These higher production costs are passed on to consumers, driving up the price of flour in stores. As these trends continue, consumers are likely to see further increases in flour prices, making it financially prudent into stock up while prices are still relatively manageable. Stocking up on flour now will not only help you avoid potential shortages, but also save you from future price hikes as global wheat supplies remain under strain. Number six, canned tomatoes and tomato products. Canned tomatoes and tomato-based products are essential ingredients in many households, providing the foundation for sauces, soups, stews, and other meals. However, there are several key reasons why stocking up on these products is a smart move right now. First, crop shortages are significantly impacting the global supply of tomatoes. Several major tomato producing regions, such as California and parts of Europe, have experienced poor harvests due to unfavorable weather conditions. 
droughts in particular, have reduced the water available for growing tomatoes, which is leading to lower yields and a limited supply of fresh tomatoes. As a result, the production of canned tomatoes and other processed tomato products has been affected, driving up prices and reducing availability. Moreover, rising production costs are contributing to higher prices for canned tomato products. The cost of agricultural inputs like fertilizers and energy, as well as transportation and packaging materials, has increased dramatically. These additional costs are passed down through the supply chain, meaning consumers are seeing higher prices on shelves for items like canned tomatoes, tomato paste, and sauces. Aluminum cans used in packaging have also seen price increases, further contributing to the overall cost. Global supply chain disruptions have added another layer of difficulty. The transportation of food products has been affected by logistical challenges, such as shipping delays and rising fuel costs. This impacts the availability of canned goods, including tomatoes, in stores around the world. Given the importance of canned tomatoes in a wide range of dishes and the current trends of rising prices and supply chain difficulties, stocking up now ensures you have these versatile products available while avoiding potential price hikes or shortages in the near future. Number seven, milk and dairy alternatives. Milk and its plant-based alternatives are key dietary staples in most households, providing essential nutrients and versatility in both cooking and beverages. Stocking up on these products now is a prudent choice due to several emerging challenges in the market. One significant factor is the fluctuating supply of cow's milk. Dairy production has been impacted by increasing feed costs and labor shortages on farms, leading to inconsistent output. These disruptions have created upward pressure on milk prices, which are expected to continue rising. Dairy farmers are also grappling with higher operational costs, including energy and transportation expenses, making fresh milk more expensive to produce and deliver. For those who prefer non-dairy options, plant-based milk alternatives like almond, oat, and soy milk are also facing supply challenges. The rising popularity of these products, driven by dietary preferences and sustainability concerns, has pushed demand to new heights, However, the production of these alternatives isn't immune to issues. For example, droughts in key old almond growing regions, particularly California, have reduced the availability of almonds, impacting almond milk production. Similarly, oat milk production has been affected by supply chain bottlenecks and increased input costs. Additionally, global logistics problems have further complicated the situation. Dairy products and plant-based alternatives both require timely, temperature-controlled transportation, but rising fuel costs and shipping delays have led to sporadic availability. This has driven up the cost of these goods, and shortages in certain areas have become more common. With these ongoing challenges, stocking up on milk, whether it's dairy or plant-based, can help avoid future price hikes and supply disruptions. Milk and its alternatives are versatile ingredients, essential in everything from beverages to baked goods, making them valuable items to have on hand during uncertain times. Number eight, peanut butter. Peanut butter is a versatile and nutrient-dense staple, making it an excellent choice for stocking up. Several factors currently affect peanut butter production, leading to potential shortages and price increases, making it a smart idea to have extra jars on hand. One of the primary reasons to stockpile peanut butter is the ongoing challenges facing peanut crops. In major peanut producing regions, changing weather patterns, including unpredictable rainfall and increased droughts, have caused disruptions in peanut farming. These adverse conditions can severely impact crop yields, reducing the overall supply of peanuts available for processing into peanut butter. As peanuts require specific conditions to grow, any significant changes in climate can affect the size and quality of harvests, which in turn impacts production levels. Additionally, rising production costs contribute to the potential scarcity and increased prices of peanut butter. The costs of farming inputs such as fertilizers, labor, and energy have all risen significantly, putting additional financial strain on farmers. These higher costs are passed on through the supply chain, leading to more expensive peanut butter on store shelves. Peanut butter is not only a great source of protein, 
but also contains healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals, making it an essential item for maintaining balanced nutrition. Its long shelf life is another advantage, as it can be stored for extended periods without spoiling. This makes peanut butter a reliable option for both everyday consumption and emergency food supplies. Given the current challenges in peanut production and the rising costs of food, stocking up on peanut butter ensures you have a nutrient-rich, long-lasting food item available. It is a versatile ingredient that can be used in many recipes or as a simple, quick snack. Number nine, sugar. Sugar is a fundamental ingredient in many households used for everything from baking to preserving food. However, recent global developments indicate that stocking up on sugar is a wise move due to impending shortages and rising costs. One of the primary reasons for potential sugar shortages is poor harvests in key sugar-producing regions. Weather-related challenges, such as droughts and flooding, have severely impacted sugarcane and sugar beet crops, leading to lower yields. Countries that are traditionally large exporters of sugar, like Brazil and India, have seen reduced production, which limits the global supply. This drop in supply is putting upward pressure on prices and creating scarcity in certain markets. In addition to production issues, export restrictions from major sugar-producing countries are exacerbating the situation. To ensure enough sugar is available domestically, some governments have imposed limits or outright bans on sugar exports. This is especially true in nations that are grappling with inflation and trying to stabilize local food prices. These restrictions mean that less sugar is available on the international market, increasing competition among buyers and driving prices higher. Sugar's long shelf life makes it an ideal item for stockpiling. It can be stored for extended periods without losing its quality, making it useful for long-term food preparation and preservation. Whether you're using sugar for everyday cooking, baking, or canning and preserving fruits, having a sufficient supply ensures you won't be caught off guard by sudden price hikes or shortages. Number 10, canned vegetables. Canned vegetables are becoming increasingly essential as global food supply challenges intensify. A variety of factors are leading to disruptions in the production and availability of both fresh and processed vegetables, making canned options a valuable staple to have on hand. One of the primary reasons is the ongoing supply chain disruptions. Due to logistical challenges, including rising freight costs and shipping delays, the timely distribution of fresh produce has been severely affected. Transportation bottlenecks, partly due to issues like Panama Canal restrictions and global port congestion, have delayed deliveries of fresh goods to markets. As a result, fresh vegetable prices are rising and their availability is more unpredictable. In contrast, canned vegetables, which have a longer shelf life and are less dependent on rapid transportation, offer a more stable option. Additionally, climate-related challenges have impacted vegetable production worldwide. Key producing regions such as California and Spain have faced droughts and extreme weather events that have reduced crop yields. The reduced harvests have led to a tighter supply of fresh vegetables driving consumers to rely more on processed and canned alternatives. With extreme weather patterns expected to continue, the availability of fresh vegetables is likely to remain volatile. Furthermore, the rising costs of production are another factor driving up prices for both fresh and canned vegetables. Farmers are facing increased costs for fertilizers, labor, and energy, which translate into higher prices at grocery stores. Canned vegetables, being more stable and less affected by immediate supply disruptions, remain a more affordable and practical option for many households during times of inflation and scarcity. Number 11, nuts and trail mixes. Nuts and trail mixes have become increasingly important items to stockpile for various reasons, particularly due to their high nutritional value, long shelf life, and versatility. Given the ongoing issues in global food supply chains, coupled with rising prices and climate-related disruptions, these food products are an excellent choice for both everyday consumption and emergency preparedness. One of the major reasons to stock up on nuts and trail mixes is their nutritional density. Nuts, such as almonds, cashews, walnuts, and peanuts, are rich in healthy fats, proteins, fiber, and essential vitamins and minerals like magnesium, vitamin E, and potassium. 
These nutrients are vital for maintaining a balanced diet and they provide long-lasting energy, making nuts and trail mixes particularly useful during emergencies or for those with active lifestyles. The combination of nuts with seeds, dried fruits, and sometimes chocolate in trail mixes enhances their nutritional profile, offering a balanced mix of macronutrients, including carbohydrates and fats, for sustained energy. The long shelf life of nuts and trail mixes is another critical factor. When stored properly, nuts can last for six months to a year, and trail mixes, especially those packaged with proper sealing, can last even longer. Storing these items in cool, dry places, or even freezing them, can extend their freshness significantly. Unlike many perishable food items, nuts and trail mixes do not require refrigeration, making them a reliable food source for those preparing for uncertain times, such as power outages or natural disasters. In addition, the rising global demand for nuts has put pressure on the market, making it prudent to stockpile them while prices remain somewhat stable. Almonds, for example, are primarily grown in California, which has experienced severe droughts in recent years. Water shortages have reduced crop yields, increasing production costs and driving up prices. Similarly, cashew production, which is concentrated in countries like Vietnam, India, and certain African nations, has been affected by labor shortages and rising transportation costs. As these issues persist, prices are expected to continue rising, making now a good time to stock up. Nuts and trail mixes also offer significant versatility in their uses. Whether consumed as snacks, added to salads, baked into goods, or used as toppings for yogurt and oatmeal, they can fit into a wide range of meals and dietary plans. They are particularly important for those following vegetarian or vegan diets as they provide plant-based protein and healthy fats, which can be harder to source during times of food scarcity. In emergencies, trail mixes serve as a portable no-prep food that delivers essential nutrients, making them a key component in survival kits. In the context of global supply chain disruptions, nuts and their byproducts are becoming harder to transport and more expensive to produce. The rising cost of transportation, particularly due to ongoing global shipping issues and fuel price increases, has impacted the availability of many imported nuts and dried fruits used in trail mixes. These logistical challenges, combined with the increasing demand for healthier, plant-based food options, are leading to shortages in some regions and rising prices globally. Number 12. Cereal Stockpiling cereal is an essential strategy due to numerous underlying challenges in both the production and distribution of this staple food product. The primary driver behind this is the rise in global grain prices, which directly impacts the production of cereals made from wheat, corn, oats, and other grains. These grains are subject to various pressures, including climate-related challenges such as droughts, water shortages, and unpredictable weather patterns. Key grain-producing regions, which traditionally ensure a stable supply of raw materials for cereals, are experiencing reduced yields. This directly affects the availability of cereal ingredients, leading to higher production costs and increased prices for consumers. Another significant factor is the rising demand for grains in non-food industries, such as the biofuel sector. In many regions, especially those focusing on sustainability, a considerable portion of grain harvests is being diverted to biofuel production, further limiting the amount available for food products like cereal. This redirection of resources is creating competition between the food industry and energy sectors, exacerbating the supply-demand imbalance. Additionally, Global supply chain disruptions continue to make it difficult to maintain a consistent supply of cereal products on store shelves. Shipping delays, logistical bottlenecks, and labor shortages have compounded the problem, making it harder for manufacturers to transport goods efficiently. As a result, the cost of transportation has risen, and the availability of cereals in stores has become more unpredictable. The food industry is especially vulnerable to these disruptions because of the reliance on timely transportation of raw materials and finished products. The rising cost of production is another concern. Manufacturers are facing increased costs in almost every aspect of production, 
ranging from higher prices for packaging materials like cardboard and plastic to elevated labor costs. Energy prices also play a significant role in pushing up the costs associated with the manufacturing and distribution of cereal. All these expenses are eventually passed down to the consumer in the form of higher prices. The cumulative effect of these rising costs can be seen in grocery stores, where cereal prices continue to climb, making it more expensive for consumers to access this once affordable staple.